Hi, Miss Jefferson and audience. Thank you for coming today. Some of my friends come here, so let's see their daily life now. What is the trick that she is using to be very cheerful? By the way, do you sleep well these days? Like her, you don't have enough sleep, do you? So, what keeps you up at night? Excitement about picnic? Pondering these questions? Or upcoming tests? Perhaps it's not just that you can't sleep well, but you're suffering from serious disease. Insomnia. Insomnia is one of the sleep disorder, like having trouble falling asleep, waking up in the middle of the night, and waking up early more than necessary. According to the Athenian insomnia scale, which is a one of the judgment method, one of the common judgment methods of insomnia provided by WHO. 4.7% of Japanese people need the treatment of insomnia. 38.1% of Japanese people are suspected of it. And 18.4% of Japanese people are little suspected of it. In total, more than 60% of Japanese people tend to be insomnia. So, now, you might be suffering from it without your noticing. To check whether you are suffering from it or not, Please use the judgment method on page three. Page three. If you get more than six points, there is high suspicion of insomnia. And in our presentation, we define insomnia as having a difficult time falling asleep. In other words, it means you can't fall asleep smoothly. You can't fall asleep smoothly. Then, what will happen if you cannot fall asleep smoothly? There is a fact that the people who cannot fall asleep smoothly tend to take longer nap than the other people. In this presentation, we define nap as sleeping separate from night sleep. According to the research, the average nap time of the ordinary people is about 30 minutes. However, the average nap time of the people who cannot fall asleep smoothly is more than 50 minutes. Yes, there are clearly difference between the ordinaries and the insomnias. By the way, have you ever took long nap? Have you ever experienced like this? The day before, you had a difficulty with falling asleep. And the next day, you feel very, very sleepy and you see most of your classes, likely. Maybe I guess most of you have ex experience like this. Then, how long is the longest nap you have ever took? Yurina-san. Minutes. 
shouldn't have the experience long enough. But what is that? What is trouble which is caused by long enough? Maybe you know, of course, after taking long nap, your brain becomes out of order. So you cannot concentrate on your study. In addition, if you take long nap in daytime, the quality of your night sleep will go down. Yes, these are <coughs> the troubles which is caused by long nap. And what is the worst? It brings you death. Many disease risks get higher because of long nap. For example, if you take 19 minutes nap, the risk of becoming heart disease will increase to 1.5 times. In addition, if you take 60 minutes nap, the risk of becoming Alzheimer in the future is twice as high as older is. So many disease, many troubles caused by long nap. It is said that the ten minutes longer the nap gets the 4,000 higher the disease gets. So we can see, if you can't fall asleep smoothly, you will become to take long enough, so your disease gets higher. In short, having difficulty with falling asleep brings you many, many troubles. Then, why the difficulty occur? First, I want to explain the shell with one question. Why you can fall asleep smoothly? Can you imagine that answer? Actually, it's a very simple question. The answer is, you can't make the body to fall asleep. But, what is the situation? From now, I'd like to explain the details. I'm going to share with you the one word. It is, automatic nerves. Have you ever heard the word? These nerves can be worked by your mind and it is very important system for your body. Moreover, it is divided into two types. One is a sympathetic nerve and the other is a parasympathetic nerve. This function like a CISO, rhythmically, and the sympathetic nerve mainly works in daytime and the parasympathetic nerve is in nighttime. Next, I'd like to explain the relationship between nerves and body to fall asleep. I decided to say that the sympathetic nerve is a red figure. It is cute. <laughs> you make the wake for body because your sympathetic nerve works harder. When the nerve operates, your body cells shrink. Next, your body feels tense constantly. As a result, you make the wake of a body. So it is difficult to fall asleep smoothly at night when you want to sleep. On the contrary, if I make the parsing first now a blue one, when it works actively, your body of cells can relax. In short, your body can get relaxed when your parsing first signal gets activated. As I said before, they get on a seesaw like this, 
This mechanism is important to make your body fall asleep easily. When right one goes up, left one goes down. In conclusion, the parasympathetic nerves get activated. The sympathetic nerves population becomes weaker. So I can say you need to work for a sympathetic nerve to fall asleep smoothly. Of course, it can't be worked by your mind. So firstly, you should change your habit or your surrounding environment get activated. But what should you do? For example, stretching, traveling, Taking a bath and drinking a hot drink, there are many relaxing methods you've ever heard. But what is the best? What should I choose? I'm not sure I don't know. In first, I think the most of relaxing methods are too much white for me. Maybe everyone did that. What's I always thinking? I always thinking so too. So but don't worry. I have found a good suggestion. So from now, I'd like to I'd like to recommend you the most effective and easiest suggestion. The solution is. Listen to the Mozart music. By the way. Do you know about the motel? He made many classical music. Then, I'd like to explain why Mozart music is good. The Mozart music simulates the parasympathetic nerves. The parasympathetic nerves has relaxing action and it is concentrated in the Middle of the gutter. If you move the middle, the parasympathetic nerves become active. And then you can fall asleep. How to move the middle? It's surely most of music. The middle responds to a high frequency sound. Mozart's music has many high frequency sounds. So, listening to the Mozart's music is the best solution. You may think, why do not choose other music? I'd like to explain. I'd explain it by analyzing high frequency. The key points are density and distribution. The Mozart music has high, higher density and more equal distribution than other music. As you can see, Mozart's music is superior to others by density and distribution of high frequency sound. I'll tell you some mechanism briefly. The parasympathetic nerves secrete the acetylcholine. The acetylcholine suppresses the sympathetic nerves. Therefore, Mozart music can control sympathetic nerves. If you listen to the Mozart music, you will get even more benefit. If you listen to the Mozart music, your body screams dopamine. The dopamine helps you get happiness and relieve your stress.
you can also increase motivation for learning. Therefore, you will benefit from your study. So, let's listen to Mozart's music in a good position to relax before going to bed. His music has great merits. I'm sure that if you listen to it, your life becomes richer and you'll be able to get high quality sleep. That's right. Then, why don't we see their beauty life again? Yeah, it's a shame. 